Welcome, friends. Remember last week we began discussing our core values at Central? We talked about having hungry hearts for learning about God's Word and spreading the gospel or plan of salvation to other people. Today, we want to discuss the next core value, attentive eyes. Do you know what it means to be attentive? Well, it means that you watch closely and pay attention. You listen and watch what is being said and notice things and people that are around. As Christians, we should always have attentive eyes. We need to look for chances to tell people about Jesus. We need to see when people need help. We need to realize when people need us to pray for them or with them. These are ways to use our eyes to obey and serve God. There are so many examples of attentive eyes in the Bible. The disciples paid attention to Jesus and his teaching. They did their best to obey and follow his example. They weren't perfect, but their devotion and attentive eyes made them Christ's special choices for being his disciples. He taught them personally and molded them into teachers and preachers themselves. Moses and Abraham were two men from the Old Testament who had attentive eyes on God's leading and direction. Moses helped deliver his people out of Egypt, and Abraham was the father of an entire nation of God. Attentive eyes are a very important feature of a person who serves the Lord. Today, we're going back to the New Testament. In Luke 17, 11 through 19, we learn about a group of 10 men who had a terrible disease, leprosy. Now, in this time, we have treatments and cures for this disease. But back in Bible times, and for years after, if someone got leprosy, they would die from it. It was a very sad, lonely disease. It was painful, too, with lots of sores or owies covering the person's body. The worst part was that it was very contagious. That meant one person could very easily give it to another person. When someone had leprosy, they were forced to leave their homes and even the city. They could not be too close to anyone because people were so afraid of getting the sickness. So you see, people who had leprosy were lonely, in a lot of pain, and probably afraid. They knew it would never go away. They knew they couldn't live with the people they loved anymore. So there were 10 lepers who lived around a city. As Jesus was traveling there, they yelled to him, and verse 13 says, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. You see, they had attentive eyes to see that Jesus was someone special. Not only that, but unlike many, Jesus noticed the lepers too, with his attentive eyes. He always pays attention to people. He knows their needs and wants. He is our savior and best friend. He is our father. Even when we think, we aren't anyone special, we're always special to him. His eyes are always watching over us. Well, Jesus, with his words, sent the men to the priest to be checked over. They were healed with Jesus' words alone. I cannot imagine the joy they felt when Jesus healed them. How amazing! One of the men was different, though. Nine of the men went on their, to live their lives, but one man ran back to Jesus to tell him thank you. His attentive eyes told him that Jesus was to be worshiped and glorified, and the least he could do was to bow down to his Savior and say thank you. Jesus told of how special this man was. We should always, always be aware of not only what Jesus wants, but how to share Jesus with others. What would Jesus do? How would Jesus treat this person? Have I thanked Jesus for everything and everyone he's given me? The church teaches us how to use our attentive eyes. We learn through both the winners of the Bible and those who made big mistakes. God is always teaching us. Our mistakes can be lessons too, if we use them correctly. We can make better choices in the future when we look at the wrong things we do with our attentive eyes. Our memory verse is Ephesians 4.16. Christ holds the body together and makes all of its parts work perfectly as it grows and becomes strong because of love. Again, we are talking about the body of Christ, which is us, the church, or Christians. We have hungry hearts for learning about and sharing God, and attentive eyes for finding opportunities to grow and make good choices and changes when they are necessary. 
Guys, always be in prayer that you will listen to and hear what God wants you to do. The Holy Spirit guides us in right and wrong, and we need to pay attention when He is trying to tell us something. Let's all try and listen, always. Remember, I love you, and God loves you too. Bye, guys.